2016. IFA 2016 has officially come to a close, and while it was definitely a chore going across the entire mess of Berlin to find some of the best products, we have 16 picks across three different sites. Yes, we have Android Authority's picks coming up first, but we also have Tab Times and Sound Guys giving out awards for some products beyond the world of Android. This is your best of IFA 2016. So we're kicking off the Android Authority Awards with one of the most standout products at the show, Lenovo's unique and quirky Yoga Book, which features two tablet slate in a two-in-one form factor and runs either Windows 10 or Android. You've got a main screen with a 10.1-inch Full HD display, and then, unlike other two-in-ones, you've actually got a secondary touch display. The second screen is where the magic really happens. Lenovo has managed to create a touch keyboard that somewhat successfully provides haptic feedback, but with the touch of a button, it converts to a, a slate that you can draw on. And if you so wish, you can even put a pad on there and draw on it to have both a physical and a digital copy. As far as unique products go, definitely a worthy winner. To say that Android smartphones were pretty thin on the ground at IFA this year would be an understatement, with both Samsung and LG sidestepping the show for standalone events before and after. However, Lenovo was on deck and they dropped the Moto Z Play. The Moto Z Play is essentially the follow-up to the Moto G4 Play, but it brings all the coolness of modularity and familiarity of the Moto Z range at a lower price point. If you want a modularity that didn't break the bank and want access to all those fancy Lenovo modules, then look no further as the Moto Z Play definitely ticks those boxes. We keep the Lenovo party going as we take a look at the Tab 3 Plus. The Yoga line of tablets has always been a bit of a favorite at Android Authority simply because it's a tablet that can literally stand on its own. In that area where the kickstand is, you have a wonderful large battery along with uh, a wonderful sound experience because of the enhanced speakers. And with a Quad HD display, it is a nice tablet to use for work and play. It does lose the projector, but then it also loses a bit of its price. So for a pretty affordable tablet, the Yoga Tab 3 Plus is is actually one of the better ones that we saw at the show, simply because, like I said already, it can literally stand on its own. But then we bring it over to Samsung with the Gear S3. Now, the Gear S2 was an alternative to the Apple Watch at last year's IFA, and this year we get an even bigger, quite literally, version of the Gear S2 Classic. The Gear S3 retains a lot of the look from the Gear S2 Classic with its clicky rotating bezel that has the ridges, and it's a pretty large device when compared to the original Gear S2. But it also comes with a number of new features along with that lovely look. It also comes with LTE connectivity in the Gear S3 Frontier, and you also get Samsung Pay across the board with the Gear S3s. So if you're looking for a really fun way to pay for a lot of stuff, the Gear S3 might be the watch that you're looking for, but it also looks really good to boot. On to the next award, and let's just first say this. When Nubia invited us to a briefing on their new flagship, we did not expect to be giving them an award, which goes to show. Any company is worthy of an award when they truly innovate. And Nubia certainly delivered on this with the Nubia Z11, which is arguably the world's first truly bezel-less smartphone. Using a patented arc design, the Nubia Z11 has no bezels either side of the display, and this also means the company was able to add touch gestures to the side of the phone, kind of in a way that Samsung's managed to do with the Galaxy S7 Edge. A worthy award for a very unique smartphone. In recent times, Sony has been pretty much under the hammer, trying to deliver on a flagship worthy of the name, with minor incremental updates and a very similar design. But at EVA 2016, that got flipped on its head. Following on from the Xperia X range earlier this year, Sony delivered the Xperia XZ or XZ, depending on where you live and how you pronounce it. Now, the specs are not entirely new, but the design is. The software is top notch, and there's a lot of really exciting stuff going on in this new device hopefully indicative of where Sony takes, intends to take things in the near future. What truly sets the Xperia XZ apart though is its new 5-axis stabilization on the 23 megapixel camera. This is the world's first and it's definitely something we're looking forward to playing around with a little bit more. If you've somehow forgotten about Android Wear, it's still alive and kicking, and it was there definitely at IFA 2016 with the ASUS ZenWatch 3. ASUS has always put out a pretty nice line of Zen watches, and the third iteration comes in with IP67 certification, which means you can actually let it take a splash or a tumble, and it will still keep kicking. The ZenWatch 3 offers three buttons along the right side of the watch, and you have a choice of either a silicone or leather strap, and a choice of silver, bronze, or rose gold for the dials. Other notable specs include include a 1.39 inch AMOLED display, a 340 milliamp hour battery, and of course, Android Wear, which is still growing and continues to really pump out some very nice devices, one of which is definitely the ASUS ZenWatch 3. 
And on to the final Android Authority Award. And yes, the 3 Doodle Pro technically is an Android, but the possibilities are endless. The, the new pen basically allows you to draw and doodle absolutely anything in 3D with a wider choice of materials, including wood, copper, bronze, nylon, and polycarbonate plastic. To show just how easy it is to use, 3 Doodle even mocked up our Android Authority logo in plastic in just a couple of minutes. They made a case for the Galaxy S7 Edge in just 10 minutes and created a 3D version of the Android Authority mascot. Definitely a cool product, and if you've been looking for a way to create customized and unique cases or accessories for your smartphone or beyond, the 3 Doodle Pro could be the answer. And if you've been looking to dive outside of the world of Android, Tab Times is where you should be. You have tablets, computing, and really just all the tech all the time at Tab Times. So we have four awards that we're giving out at IFA 2016. With tablets a dying breed, fewer companies are making dedicated Android tablets and are rather focusing on two-in-ones and other form factors. Yet Huawei's new media pad aims to offer just this, sporting a metal build, quad HD display, and a large 5,100 milliamp hour battery, the MediaPad has a lot to offer, if you're after an Android tablet that is. Like other Huawei products, it comes with a fingerprint sensor that also supports gestures. It's running Android Marshmallow with Huawei's EMUI 4.1 on top, has quite a powerful Kirin 950 processor with four gigabytes of RAM, a choice of either 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes of expandable storage, and a Mali T88 GPU that offers surprisingly good performance and gaming. Wanna know more? Check out our full MediaPad M3 review. But if a tablet is not exactly your style and you are looking for something a little bit more traditional, then the Lenovo Yoga 910 is a pretty impressive two-in-one laptop slash tablet. It's got all the specs you could ever wish for, including a 13.9-inch display that comes in either Full HD or 4K resolution. That's a touchscreen, and it has really, really thin bezels on three of the four sides. It's also rocking a Intel Core i7 Kaby Lake processor and a massive battery that should keep you powering on all day long. When it comes to comparisons, you can think of it as a Dell XPS 15, but a lot lighter and a lot more affordable. You might notice a bit of a trend in these awards as the laptops or the convertibles or tablets are getting smaller and smaller, and there's not one thinner or smaller than the Acer Swift 7. This might be just one of my favorite devices at IFA 2016, and this was one of the first devices that I dived outside of Android with, and I just had a lot of fun with this 9.98 millimeter thin laptop. It features a 13.3 inch non-touch full HD IPS display with Gorilla Glass protection and it has a full-size keyboard with a very large trackpad. But under the hood you get the latest Intel i7 processor with 8 gigabytes of RAM and a solid state drive coming in at 256 gigabytes of storage. The Swift 7 does come with two USB-C ports and a headphone jack for all you audio lovers out there. And speaking of which there is Dolby audio enhancement in those speakers on the bottom which do ensure some pretty good audio. Considering how a supremely thin this laptop is, you could just take it just about anywhere, and it's also so stylish that it's definitely going to turn some heads. From the insanely thin to the ludicrously large, as there's no other way to describe Acer's other standout creation, the world's first curved notebook. Before you rush out to buy it, it's worth noting that this is one monstrous machine, and the chances of you actually ever using it as a notebook are probably slim to none. What makes it so monstrous? It's a 21 inch curved display, and it also comes with two GeForce 1080p GPUs, a built-in mechanical keyboard. It weighs in at 7.7 .7 kilograms, and that's before you include the two power supplies it needs to run. Although the weight does include the five system fans and the eight heat pipes in the machine itself. It's got a ton of other specs, and if you're a gamer, this is probably the best laptop for you. If you can even get it on your lap, that is. Audiophiles, take off your headphones because it's time for the Sound Guys Awards. There are a lot of sound products at IFA 2016 and we got to look at quite a few of them and four of them really stood out to us. So if you are a lover of audio and music, these might be products that you're really looking for. We're kicking the audio section of these awards off with a visit to Harman Kardon and the new AKG N40 in-ear headphones that come with a customizable listening experience. Want a boost in the bass, linear sound, or a boost in those highs? Well, everything is possible thanks to tweakable sound filters, which basically have filtered down from higher price points and the award-winning N60 noise-canceling headphones, basically allowing you to experience high-res audio straight from your smartphone. Definitely a worthy winner in our book. From the sleek to something out of this world, quite literally. If you've been hunting for an undeniably quirky in-ear pair of headphones that showcase good audio, the iSCENE 10 definitely deliver. Made by Audis, a boutique headphone brand known for making some of the best planar headphones in the world, the iSCENE 10 deliver what many people thought was impossible. For the uninitiated, planar magnetics offer a larger surface area from which sound can resonate. And considering the technology itself, headphones utilizing planar magnetics are often quite large, but someone clearly forgot to tell Audis. The result? The world's first planar in-ear headphones. 
a well-deserved award for a company that has truly innovated in audio at EFA 2016. Especially when considering the world of Android right now, you're probably becoming very aware of the word DAC. Well, RHA has a DAC Amp L1, which is a way of adding a DAC and amplifier to your existing audio solution. Essentially, it's offering high-res audio on the go, but it is the first device of its kind to feature dual DACs and amplifiers with each pair responsible for one channel of stereo audio. So you're gonna get some really high quality audio in either ear. It does come with the input options of either ISB, mini toss link, or 3.5 millimeter line in, with the output connectivity options being 3.5 millimeter or mini XLR. So you audiophiles out there will really be able to get some awesome audio out of the RHA DAC Amp L1, no matter what you're using to actually play the music or the audio that you're listening to. Now our last pick for audio is by far one of the most unique and the simple way to think about it is to imagine just how different your favourite song sounds when you listen to it on headphones compared to when you hear it in the club. <laughs> Thanks to the unique acoustic variables in each individual venue and of course their sound system, the same song can sound incredibly different depending on where you're hearing it. Now Sennheiser has introduced its Ambio venue modelling solution which essentially maps out the interior of a venue as well as a sound system and recreates that when you're listening to a song on your headphones. It's a pretty impressive solution and it's amazing to hear just how differently the same song can sound depending on where you're listening to it. This kind of 3D immersive audio experience is just dying to be picked up by the likes of Spotify or Pandora and it will absolutely change the way you think of your music on your phone in the future. And so, there you have it, 16 of the best products that we found at EVA 2016, not just from Android to computing, but also to audio, and everything in between these products stood out for a variety of reasons from the hundreds that we saw at the Messe Berlin at EVA 2016. And believe you me, there were a ton of them, and it's really hard to go through all of them to find some of the best, the cream of the crop. Which of these gets your vote for overall best product of EFA 2016? You can let us know what you think of your pick or even our picks in the comments below. And then you can stay tuned to Android Authority for even more about EFA 2016 and the products that we were able to see at the show. And remember to stick around at Android Authority Tab Times or Sound Guys for everything, including the world of Android and the world beyond. Once you're done with all of that, make sure you keep it tuned here at Android Authority for all of the best because we are your source, of course, for all things club. <laughs> Android. Android.